Hey fam, welcome back to Learning Unlocked. If you're interested in finding easy ways to teach your little one all they need to know, please hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in an easy way to teach your child how to spell their name even if they cannot write, please keep on watching. This name craft would also help hone their fine motor skills and it's pretty quick and simple to do. All you will need is three sheets of Bristol board of assorted colors, a pencil, a ruler, a paper punch, some paper clips, a scissor, and some crayons, color pencils, something to add a little bit of color and dimension to your craft. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our first sheet of paper and we're going to want to draw the outline of the engine of our train. So I'm going to go around with some light lines first and then I'm going to darken them just in case I make a mistake. I am not a professional artist. I'm just a mommy trying to find cool and innovative ways to teach my little one all that she needs to know. Most kids or most schools require kids to know and be able to identify their names amongst other names before starting preschool or pre-k or kindergarten as you called it in various countries. So this activity is going to be focused mainly on that. It's going to involve taking the letters of the different train carriages and putting them in the correct order to spell their name accurately. So I am just going to try to make this as realistic as possible by adding some windows, a steamer, or a, a, what do you call this thing on top of the train? I'm going to call it a steamer, but it's where the smoke comes out from, like the chimney for the train. Okay, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but you know what I mean. And I'm going to add some wheels. And then, of course, you know, we have to add some color if we're going to try to keep the little ones focused. I would recommend this activity for anywhere from two years old and upward. Well, let's say two to three year olds, sometimes four year olds, depending on the child's ability and where they are at currently. But you definitely want to try this activity if your child cannot write yet or if you're getting them ready to send them off to school at the beginning of the term in September or upcoming fall. So I know you noticed that I add a little rectangle on the end of the train and that is going to be our connector where we're going to punch a hole and insert the, um, the child is going to insert the paper clip to... Um, to connect the different to connect the engine and the carriages to each other i'm just gonna write a little um a little quote on it all aboard just to add some more spunk and more depth to the activity make it a little bit more exciting than it really is as mentioned before we're gonna add some color just to keep the little ones as focused as possible so we get through the activity before they run off and do something else okay so now that we're finished with our engine the next thing we're gonna do is our carriage and this one is gonna be a stencil because we want all our carriages to at least look similar enough and guys you know what i always say or even if you're new here i always say it does not have to be perfect to be effective that's all i'm gonna say it does not have to be perfect to be effective trust me the child is gonna get the lesson even if the carriages aren't perfect even if it doesn't look you know totally realistic trust me they have a wild imagination when i just started uh drawing the engine my daughter was like mommy it's a train choo choo 
so they 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 would pick up so we're just gonna cut this out we're gonna cut both of them out both the carriage and the engine the carriage as i said is is what we're gonna use for our stencil to draw the other carriages and the number of carriages that you want you're gonna wanna draw or make is the amount of letters in the child's name the carriage that goes on the end you're not gonna put any joiner or that little rectangle on the right hand side of the last letter so for instance if your child has five if your child's name has five letters like my child four of the engines are gonna have jerk connectors on both sides and one is only gonna have one on the left hand side but even if you draw it from the stencil you can just cut it off after it's gonna be fine guys um this activity you can also you can make it into a chat you can attach a velcro um velcro dots at the back and make it into um a little activity for your binders your morning binders um the possibilities are endless with this activity you can also attach it to um some cardboard to your scrapbook anything you wish but once they're able to put it in order you can also make like a nice little chart on the wall for them where you have it in the order if they aren't yet at the stage where they can put it in the order themselves so i'm here i'm drawing um my other carriages to put the other letters of her name and you put the letters in whatever order you want the colors to go in so if you want the carriages to go blue green pink you would write the letters of the name to follow suit <laughs> here she goes here she goes she's like mommy i want to drive i i gave in i gave in I love how she's always so enthused by the crafts even during making and this is why I always I do the principal versions for the busy moms but if you do have the extra time on a weekend or if you're a stay-at-home mom I would definitely definitely recommend that you sit down and do the drawing with them it's a little bit more rewarding than the principal because they see it while you're making it and they're excited and they want to be involved and you know it it just makes everything a little bit more exciting so we're gonna cut out our other carriages um i don't want to make the video too long so after i'm finished cutting these out i'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the green paper but off camera and then i'm gonna come back and show you how to punch the holes and how to join the carriages together okay so I tried stacking them all but I realized it was not all correctly together so I'm just taking them one by one now and I'm gonna punch the hole and cut off the excess so this is how you're gonna join them together using the paper clip and as I said before this is going to exercise or help hold your child's fine motor skills so you're gonna push the the paper clip into one, and.
and then you're gonna push push it into the um, the next letter the letter that's coming next so there she goes always ready to give a quick demo so let me let her take the floor Okay guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out my printable version of this activity via my website. The link will be in the description below. And again, if you're this if you've reached this far, please don't forget to subscribe. That is very 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 important to helping me reach other mummies all over the world. Have fun. Bye.